Good evening, I'm REMAX Realtor Wes Garrison here with the Garrison Brothers of REMAX Town & Country. I'm going to make another quick video tonight and I want to talk about something that I think about often as I work with a lot of buyers and primarily a buyer's agent. And there are a couple of questions that I feel that as you're interviewing your buyer's agent to see if he's the agent for you, that I think that are some of the best questions you should be asking them. Now, a lot of people are going to see this video and say, yeah, but what about this question? You didn't think about this. I mean, there are literally a hundred questions you could ask, but I want to talk about the most important ones. Um, and so I think that one of the most important questions you ask is, do you work full-time or do you work part-time as an agent? Now, I know a lot of hardworking people who've got their full-time jobs and they kind of have real estate as a side hustle, right? And they're available sometimes, they're available all the time. And, you know, they may be your friend and that's all great. But what you want to help you make the biggest financial decision in your life is you want someone who's focused 50, 60, 70 hours a week to get you the house that you want to get in. So which leads to the second most important question is what's your typical availability? You want to know, are you going to be available to me? Now, a lot of people say it would be great to work nine to five, but a realtor's job, they work from sunup to sundown, a realtor's job is never done. Seven days a week, 24 hours a day, they're always available. I'm always available. I get pings on my cell phone at Saturday morning, Sunday morning at 7.30, 8 o'clock. People find a property. They get excited about it. You need to be available for them. So that should be the question. When are you available for me? And the answer is always. Whenever you need it, whenever you're ready, let me know. I'll be here. I'll put my full focus on you and we're going to get you that house that you want to get. So another question that they ask is sometimes when they're interviewing a new agent with a big company is it's important. Am I going to be working with you or am I going to be working individually with you or do you have a big team or are you just sort of the, the point man? That's really an important question because I know a lot of realtors, the big, big, big realtors, and you talk to five different people and you don't know who you're working with and they've got these really big names, these really big companies and you see them on the billboards and they do an awesome, amazing job. They've been around for a long time. But when it comes to buying a home, you really want somebody who's going to be able to walk with you along that, alongside of you. You want one person who's accountable, who's available, who's going to be for you there all the time. So you should stick with the person that you're actually working with who should be just one person. So the next thing is, it's usually sometimes the first question, it's not the most important, but the first question I get is people say, we've never bought a house before. Can you please explain to us in full what the home buying process looks like? from start to finish, from getting pre-qual to some of the pitfalls, and there are a lot of pitfalls. Uh, somebody with experience is going to be able to give you the actual facts about what the experience is going to be like. They're going to be able to set the expectation for you so that there are no surprises. And that is the good, the bad, and the ugly, because there's all three of those when it comes to buying a home. So a good, competent agent, good, competent buyer's agent is going to be able to sort of walk you through each of that step by step to your satisfaction slowly so that you can understand that and if you have any more questions you should be able to answer those as well um, and sometimes I don't get this question a lot but I do get a concern of people who don't understand the home buying process they ask me as a buyer's agent they say well how much is it going to cost us to have you work for us to help us buy a home and the answer is usually it's not going to cost you anything because the seller always pays the commission so Working for a buyer's agent is pretty much free. Now, every company on both sides has a broker's fee, transaction broker's fee, which can range anywhere from two to $300. It's usually a very small fee that's paid at closing. It doesn't go to the buyer's agent. It goes to the actual broker. Everybody has to pay that. But for the most part, it's pretty much free to work with a buyer's agent. So you don't have to worry about that. Now, I'd love the opportunity to answer any and all questions that you may have. I love the opportunity to be your buyer's agent, to earn your business. Give me a call, 407-687-9449. You're going to see how hard that I'll work for you to get you into your next home.